Hi, welcome to my channel. Do you want to learn how to make your photos look like the pros? Well, keep watching until the end. In first chapter, the main reason why building a studio from scratch is within most folks' reach today is that you can do so much with just one light. In fact, nearly this entire chapter is to show you how to get professional results using just one light. One of the least expensive and most popular studio backgrounds is seamless background paper. This paper comes in long rolls, and two most popular widths are just over 4 feet wide, 53 inches, and nearly 9 feet wide, 107. The nice thing about seamless paper are, it's cheap, you can buy anywhere for only $40 if you want 9 feet wide roll, it's seamless, there's no visible seam where the paper folds as it reaches the floor or table top. So the background looks continuous. This paper paper roll comes in a wide variety of colors, from solid white to solid black, to blue, green and anything in between. If you're building your first studio, this is a great way to start. Using a modeling light, when you're shooting in a studio environment, the only lights you want to light is your subject, otherwise the other lights in the room can affect your exposure. Generally the studio pretty dark once the shooting starts. Another advantage of using modeling light is that gives you an idea where your shadows are going to fall on your subject. While ring lights are great for photos, they also make good lighting for videos. If you've ever wondered why a particular subject looks noticeably better under constant lighting, they're probably using a ring light. They're arguably the best lighting for YouTube videos, especially for vloggers and product reviewers. Using a fan for windblown effects, not just a fan, a powerful, hurricane, force commercial fan that would put most of lightning equipment in jeopardy if you were to ever turn it on to its highest possible setting. Anyway, a fan with a nice kick like handy fan USB or stand fan are cheaper. Creates a windblown effect that can add energy and excitement to your portrait. If you really want to blow people away take a look 42 inches industrial fan which is designed for factories and sports arenas. Make your subject look slimmer. If you want to make someone's body look slimmer, keep their arms from touching their body, leave a little gap between arms and their body. So their arm don't add to their body mass and make the whole figure look larger. Another trick is to have your subject face their body away from the camera at an angle and then twist the upper half of their body toward the camera.